Hello guys, good day. So our topic for today is resolving a vector into components. We already discussed about vector and scalar quantities, the difference between vector and scalar quantities. So vector is known as the quantity having both magnitude and direction. When we say magnitude, it is the length or the extent or the size of something. So for example, 3 meters, the length of the distance. And, but when we say vector having magnitude and direction, 3 meters towards right. So that's a vector quantity. The magnitude is 3 meters and the direction is towards right. So that's an example of a vector quantity. While scalar quantity is a quantity having magnitude alone without direction. Okay, so I hope you can already differentiate the two quantities. So this is an example. The process of finding a vector's component is known as resolving a vector into components or resolving vector into components. So for example, you have there in the figure A and B, the, the vector is A and its component is along X and Y axis. So as you can see on the figure A, the, the component of vector A along the X axis is named AX. It's just a variable, and when we say variable, it's not fixed. You can actually change it into what name you want to name it. But to since it the the I mean the the vector is a, we can just simply put ax there as the component along the x-axis. So that's the horizontal component of the vector a. While in b, the vertical component of the vector a along the y-axis is a sub y. So, yan yung, yung components ng vector a along the x and y axis. So, ax and ay. Now, what if the vector is along the x axis, perfectly horizontal? We can say that the vector a along the x axis has component along the x-axis but no component along the y-axis kasi perfectly horizontal siya. But the same with kapag yung vector mo along the y-axis, kapag perfectly uh, vertical. Kapag perfectly vertical siya, wala siyang component along the x-axis kasi yung vector mo along the y-axis na. So yung component niya along the x-axis is zero but the vector is component along the y-axis is yung vector mismo. Kung yun siya. Okay? So, I hope you can understand that. And later, I will give you more examples so you can understand it more. Next. So, yan. Uh, yan. Na individually explained. One way to imagine finding the vector components of A is by projecting its shadow onto two perpendicular surfaces. In figure A, the x component is the shadow projected onto the horizontal ground. Thus, the variable used is ax. So, alam niyo na kung anong tawag, anong ibig sabihin ng variable, right? In your mathematics, in your pre-calculus, in your grade 11. You have already discussed about, about its basic, actually, in your um, algebra. So, sa junior high school niyo, since junior high school, di ba, na-discuss niyo na yan, yung sa variable, ganyan. Variable can be changed. Okay, so hindi siya fixed. It's just, ah, uh, uh, not permanent, kumbaga. Pwede ka maka-assign kung ano yung value ng variable na yan. Then, this is on the figure B. The Y component is the shadow projected into a vertical screen or sa vertical um, axis, sa so Y. Thus, the variable used is a sub y okay so that's those are the components of the vector a actually yung vector magkakaroon lang yan ng components along the x and y axis so to make to make it ano ha, more understandable for you 
yung malaman mo kapag vector yan, tapos meron niyang component along the x and y axis kapag either north east, north west, or south east, kapag ano siya, diagonal siya. Hanggat diagonal yan, meron niyang components along the x and y axis, either on the first quadrant of the of the coordinate system, on the second, third, or fourth. Basta diagonal siya. Pero once na yung, yung vector mo along the x talaga, perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical, isa lang yung component niyan. Either x lang din, 0 yung y, or either y lang, tapos 0 yung kanyang x. So, kapag dalawa talaga, merong along the x and y axis yung component niya, it has to be diagonal. Okay? So, later, don't worry, I will give you more example. So, these vector components have been assembled to form a right triangle. And A as the hypotenuse. Yun yung kanina sa figure. We can use trigonometry to, to find the sc scalar components AX and AY in terms of theta. So, th that um, this I forgot my cursor. This um, symbol, as you can see, it's it means theta, an angle. It means an angle. And A, where theta is the angle the vector makes with the x-axis. For AX, we have, say to siya, you can use the, the trigonometric functions. We have sine, cosine, and tangent. So, cosine, but if you still can remember, ano yung trigonometric functions, we have so, ka, towa. So, S-O-H, it means sine is equal to, sine angle or sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. That's so, for ka, that's cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, yan. So, ka, toa. Tangent for opposite over adjacent. So, later, um, I will make, uh, I will pre-record a video of myself explaining these uh, trigonometric functions on on the classroom para mayroon talagang board. Makita niya talaga. Visually, makita niya talaga yung ano, uh, nandun yung figure and so, I can show you also saan yung hypotenuse, saan yung adjacent, and of course, the opposite sides of the right triangle. Okay? So, actually, you can... Meron na kayong, I, I know that you, have, you already have basics on this, but I want to uh, remind you para hindi tayo magkakaroon ng mas malaking problema pagdating sa higher um, topics because there will be more. There will be more of these um, applications later. Don't worry. I have a lot of considerations, lalo na ngayon, because of this pandemic. So, let's endure this together. Uh, with a little more trigonometry, can find the scalar component AY. So, yun siya. For sine, yung so, opposite over hypotenuse. So, yan siya. Is equal to if we're going to look at the, the figure ay over a where ay is equal to a sine theta i will give you a link on my video just please um uh, view it on youtube so you can see uh, that you can see the figure along with the figure and my explanation kung saan dun yung your opposite hypotenuse and adjacent sides of the triangle. Thank you.